Cornell is a storied Ivy League school that has educated some of America's greatest thinkers and leaders. But time might be running out on Cornell's reputation for excellence, given the school's recent retreat from the values of open inquiry and free expression. Students, faculty, and alumni say the school is suffering from a monoculture in which dissenting voices are rare and unwelcome. 62% of Cornell students surveyed by FIRE report censoring themselves on campus. The university has sanctioned the use of bias incident response teams, pitting students and faculty against one another. Faculty members say they're afraid to express their views or even to discuss some topics. In 2019, a student debate forum withdrew the invitation of a pro-life speaker, stating concerns about having to pay high security costs to protect against anticipated protesters. In 2020, Cornell law professor William Jacobson wrote two blog posts critiquing aspects of the history and leadership of the Black Lives Matter movement. A small group of students tried to organize a boycott of his courses. Some alumni called for him to be fired, and other faculty members denounced him. Now, the university is looking for ways to train students, faculty, and staff in the reigning campus orthodoxy. In her 2022 convocation address to incoming students, Cornell President Martha Pollack acknowledged that free speech is under attack in our country from across the political spectrum. But free speech, as difficult and challenging as it is, is not only the bedrock of higher education, it's also the bedrock of democracy and a free society. She urged the incoming class not to avoid people whose viewpoints you think are wrong. Don't try to shout them down. Hear them out. Ask them questions. Yet, only a few months later, Cornell students participated in an organized shoutdown that forced invited speaker and Cornell alumna Ann Coulter to leave the podium and the event to be canceled. Cornell is also working to ensure that its students won't hear a variety of viewpoints by mandating that faculty applicants pass an ideological litmus test to get a job. Cornell's motto says it is an institution where any person could find instruction in any study. Instead, it is becoming a place where everyone is pressured to subscribe to the same ideas, no matter their course of study. Help liberate Cornell from this stifling monoculture. Free your campus. Free your mind.